Hello folks and welcome back to Court Farm. Here we are with the Massey and the Colossus and a brand new trailer we bought. So we gone and decided to buy this trailer, the Lizard PS18 23H with of course a Union Jack flag. And that is because we need a trailer just for like moving around the yard and that. Things like when we do the animals and that, load up with TMR and that or do a silage or anything like that it does help and especially with doing contracts as well with the field so for now we're just going to place this here actually I think this would be a good time to get the rocks in so the mine's gone up so what I'm going to do now is include some clips whilst I get things set up here so enjoy these clips of us getting some money from the contracts Mainly it's from harvesting contracts and that's it. I think they don't think we did a size contract, no, because that's still there. So yeah, enjoy the clips whilst I get it set up. So you've seen how we got money, and one thing I'm going to do is upgrade this to a three and a half ton weight. Also, I'm just going to change the color to black. There we go, just over three grand. That's worth it because these stones are heavy as hell, and as we've seen at the end of the last episode, we were very seesawing. Even with this, yep, back end's still going up, but not as much as it was, so... Actually, we need to turn this around. Because now we've got enough money for the stone crusher, 25 grand. And we're going to be placing that somewhere on the farm. I did think about getting a little plot of land or something, or... Maybe place it by where we've got the farm side of it, for the straw. But there is a little spot that we can go and place. So yeah, let's get it loaded up. And then I'll show you where I'm going to place it, or maybe just place it in the time lapse. As we just go and push this out of the way. Wasn't the best placement we could have. Oh, ideally, I wanted a bit more into the bush, move it inwards, but also do need to be wary of getting this out. So, because initially I was planning on sort of moving it more inwards, but for some reason I was getting collisions, perhaps with the trees and that here. Could have free placed it, but I still risk messing things up in that. So yeah, go on and place it here. Actually, is there any way we could perhaps soften the terrain? Let's move ourselves out of the way. Maybe should have done this beforehand. There we go. Soften it a bit, but. I think that's going to be as best we can do. But yeah, so we ended up having a surprising amount of 14,000 litres almost. 
And that's going into the crusher. And the thing for it should be somewhere here. Oh, okay, he's at the back here, that's probably why. It does need water, so yeah, we can sort it out. Not a problem at all. Unfortunately, the barrel is just over here. And I think this is already filled with water from what I've done a couple of episodes ago. Let's double check. Oh yeah, it's filled with water or so. Let's go and place that. There we go. And now, we're making lime, so... We should get about 30-ish or so thousand litres of lime. And that's going to consume that very quickly, even the time window we've got, so... Really, all it's now to do is just leave that processing and go in. And actually, whilst we've still got this attached... Should we top it up, or how's the cows with the milk? Also, any contracts? Decent pop ones up. Harvesting contracts, but we need a corn header and that. For 93 and 118. Let's have a quick look at the headers. Yeah, it's not really worth it in that. But yeah, as I was going to look at, it's the animal, so. Getting no milk yet from the cows, which makes sense. So, you know what? We'll just top up with water for now. We're going to need that before we get the cows in. And yeah, it is a pretty tight error getting this in. There we go. Once we get it in that first section, it ain't too much of a worry. Ooh. Of a two wheel moment there. And there we go, we're full. Well, yeah, we've got 30 grand in that. And actually, since we've got this topped up, maybe put some greenhouses down. You know, get a bit of passive income coming in. Yeah, why not? Let's see if we can get us out first of all. So I can remove that fence panel there. It would be so much easier just to manoeuvre it. But no, we can't demolish it and that, so... Now it's just a case of whacking out, come on. There we go, so the trick of that. Jerking it out. Do not take that out of context, so yeah. And I'm thinking we can place some greenhouses over here where we've got the roller store to, so let's go and move that out of the way. Especially, it's not really a good site for the campers, really. Come on, especially in our equipment out here, like, it's not really a good image to be set in, but. Oh, well, it was one of those things. Eventually we'll put all this away. But one thing I'm going to do is turn on interactive markers. Because we go to productions, greenhouses. And I want the hydroponics. Can we get away with placing two down? Ooh, maybe be a bit iffy with terrain. Saying there. Uh, can we squeeze one more in? Come on. There we go. Actually, if we get rid of that bush now, that little tree there, clear this up. I think, you know what, I should just do that now, because... Why not? Oh. 
Someone that's cutting the tree. Actually, perhaps we should have got mulcher out. Yeah, we need to get the mulcher, so... Oh, dang it. Uh, da, 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 where is it? Two under forestry. These are out for twelve hundred. And let's go and quickly fetch that. There we go. So shred all this up. Solve this so go ahead and return that. And what is the price of wood chips? Maybe get yeah, about 300 quid or so. Dang it, not even that. Prices are really harsh at the moment. So, tall tree stores. Oh, yeah, something like that. So, you know what? If I say, just get you there, deliver tall tree stores. Nope, not that one. There we go. Nope, actually, I'm looping. Sure, why not? So you come back here. Workers off doing that. Yeah, 150 quid and. Maybe a couple quid that is in the worker as well, so may not be the best option for us to do, but we do need a few things so is it a better rate, but we do need some liquid fertilizer, so I'm gonna turn all these on. I'm gonna dump this here over here and just dump you over there. There we go. Nice little shower for that one. <laughs> but anyways. Ashes, what's in the used market today? Nothing interesting. That ain't too bad. Six cows, 13 sheep and pigs. Possibly, but... Yeah, and I should not ring a bother with that for now. I should also just quickly do this terrain work. So painting. We want new gravel. It's a bit of a clashy area, I would admit. go. I think, you know what? That is actually ain't too bad. Just put a tiny bit of gravel along here. So yeah, that's what I'm getting into. So that one's going to be it's not an issue. It's easy just driving in reverse. But let me just see how much it takes as well of everything. So pretty much almost driving into the campsite as well. And that's going to take how much of that? Almost all that, so that is three trips on its own. Three trips of going through this. So, no, two more trips, so yeah, one for that one, two, so we need that. Also, we need a liquid fertilizer. And there is some options for us of that. But if we go under pallets, uh, where is it to? I think this would be the best option for us. So we need 10 is 15,000 liters. 
plus another three. So 13 of these we're going to need. Ah, we don't have enough, so... Let's spend all of our money. There we go. I have it down to just 25 quid, so... Let's first of all get this all loaded up. Get the water transferred over. Uh, is there a way if we say we do a loop here would that work? Actually, I think the loop is actually better. So you know what? Let's do one more time lapse of getting this all sorted. And then also we'll get the liquid fertilizer. So actually, he didn't need that much to before I was going to get himself in debt there. Well, I thought it would be a bit cheeky to get some cheap liquid fertilizer. But yeah, we're left with 4,000 litres left, so can we unload it here? No, I don't think we can unload this. Usually you can unload it into a pallet, so I guess not here. Nope. Oh no then. Oh well, that's fine by me. And yeah, technically the greenhouses are in the way of the campsite. Sort of off. But also it provides a view, especially depending on where you're camping. But also the image of our sort of equipment that's been left about, stranded everywhere, so... Yeah, so now we're making tomatoes, strawberries and all that. And do we need to do anything for this month? Yeah, and then we've got the harvesting of the field beans. But we've got time for that, we've got until bloody October. Actually, one thing we do need to do is I don't think I've exercised our horses today, have I? <laughs> no, I have not, so. What I'll do is. Well, not bash our horse into a slight piece of metal, first of all. Over we go. But yeah, let me quickly exercise these, and then we'll go into set the third week of September. I see if there's any more decent contracts popping up. I just want to do some contracts, just again, just get our money slightly up because I don't want to take out a loan. That horse could be more in debt now as well because obviously. Got things to lease out, got the headers and that. Got the beta to lease out, so yeah. Let's go and see where we stand on next week. So we are in October, the first week of October, and it's time to harvest our field beans. And yeah, we're in debt, 1500 in debt, so ain't too bad. We've got an exception of contracts. Lime is done, 31,000. Actually, what? We'll set that to sell. 
Let's see how much money we get. Because actually, I should be better than we get offered, anyways. Because we have a look. Actually, two sets of canoe, One more month, and then we can sell the canoe. Get a few more hundred quid out of that. But if we go and look at the lime. So, yeah, it says lime sell for 2600 compared to sell everything container for 600 quid or so. So, theory, as long as we get more than 25 ish grand, it should be fine. Uh, you know what? We should have just sold that manually. Yeah, that's 18 grand, so. Yeah, that was not... Well, you know what? We're out of debt now, at least. Oh, I guess that's one thing. But yeah, we could have got a bit more money in that couple of grand. Even if it was just one trip of, for lime. But anyways... So yeah, our horses are looking good. Their fitness is at 30%, so... A few more months. Yeah, so this time next year they should be fine. I'll sell them then once they're fully fit. Cows are going, doing good. Once they're at TMR, we will just let that size run out and then we'll just top up with TMR as and when they need it. Wool pallet, because actually, what is wool selling for at the moment? And along with the strawberries and that. So, all good prices is around January time. You know what? That I can live with. Silage is December into January, 570. Peak at the moment is BG at 525 or Town Store Bells, 530. So we'll wait for that. But yeah, the wall. Oof, the prices are horrendous. Actually, you know what? Let's get some chickens in. We'll get some eggs and that. And we can make a little cheese sell in the new year, so... Now what, let's go and get those chickens. And I think the trigger left on for a reason is over here. So we can have 50 chickens. And you know what, we'll just go straight to... Yeah, you know what, heck it. That was cheap. And they need food, of course. So for the cows, 3,500 liters. So, again, check prices. Because we're going to be skipping these months ahead very quickly. So, sorry. 900 quid per 1,000 liters. So, don't think that's changed too much. We'll keep an eye on that. But yeah, even a little bit of money at the moment is needed, so we've got some contracts to do. Let's get back to what we was actually thinking about. So yeah, we've got 10 contracts for hay on 33. Think about these in the tether, of course. Actually, if we have a look under tethers. So that is a 12 and a half meter one. Or, should we just go all out? Because how much is that? Two grand. Not even too bad for a hundred horsepower requirement. And actually, could we borrow a cheap tractor and that for a little while? So, Izeki. Yeah, actually, what, what about this? Hmm. Four and a half grand. Unless we go something a bit more oomph. Maybe, just maybe. Again, it's a good way to try out new tractors as well for us. Forty-seven fifty-five, five grand, two grand an hour. Actually, what now? We'll just do it. 
We'll manage with this. So cultivating on field 81. Oh no, 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 no. Do not do that. So field work 81 here. Sorry, I'm saying start there. And just do that. So we're just going to do that. And we'll go ahead and start ploughing. Field 7. So actually that's down there. By next to that massive grass field on field 6. Do you mean it's not that? And what I hear is cut across actually. He's got out of here anyways. Yes, yeah, so if we get onto that grass field, don't think we can. But yeah, so anyways, let's he head to field seven. Let's go the long way around. All right, so technically we have to cut across a little bit because the actual way to get to this field is through like Soon Bridge Farms and that. So, okay, my bad on that. And yeah, I was going to do a bunch of these contracts and that, so... Got 32 we can do as well. So, tall trees. Dang it, five dinosaurs, not the same cell point. Got another cultivating contract, hopefully we can snap that before that disappears. That's 140. Oh yeah, it's not too far away from 81, so we can do that as well. Because, yeah, we're going to just do a, a bunch of these contracts and then, yeah, just get the income up a little bit. It should be fine for money anyways and that, but I don't know what the arrow fees is going to be for, like, debating and that. Because we need to do the bathing on the straw, because I think we can get straw from Phil Beans. Unless I'm mistaken, that's why I haven't done it, because I think we can get straw from Phil Beans. Unless I'm getting that mixed up with Roy and that. If that's the case, then we've wasted some money on keeping that around. But anyways, we'll give that a shot. I think we'll start the harvest later on. Because currently the baiter, not the baiter, well, the baiter's at field 59. But the field beans, we'll start the harvest on the first field bean plot by the green mill. And then we'll go up to 45. Get that done, and then we'll head back to the farm area and do that. So, it feels like the biggest amount we'll get is probably from the green mill area, then 45, and then a little bit by the farm. Obviously, being like worth up to four grand for a thousand years, probably that means we're gonna get a high yieldage from it. So, that small trader should be enough, but if it ain't. That's fine, which was what we caught it to the silo. Put the silo and store it until January, not January, June. But so, yeah, we'll do a timeout now. We'll do a few contracts and then we'll start doing the harvest to end of the episode.
And there we go, we're in the next week now, and that's because we lost the light. Yeah, sunset around 5, 6 p.m. Just made it difficult to see in that at that point, so I thought, you know what? We'll call it a night. If it was desperate, we'll work into the night, but we're not desperate at the moment. Happy to pay the fees and that. So yeah, I've got all the fields, tethered and wind roads. But now it's time to do the bathing. So if we go over here, get ourselves properly aligned up. There we go. Make sure the PTO and everything's all connected. PTO, yes. Pin hook, yes. And the cables are all good. Filthy as hell, but they're good. And I've already got 22% of grass in here, so I'm hopefully we can convert that into hay. Helps if you actually turn it on, perhaps, but yeah. Oh yeah, I got unfold the beta first of all, I thought we already did that. There we go. Yep, so you switch over to hay straight away. And yeah, we're gonna get a ton of bells from this. I think even with the extra capacity. I also got a tree down there as a purpose of stacking these. And what I'll try to do is put them onto the same trader at once. I know I'll go to two different cell points. I had different points on the map. It's gonna be a bit of a trek. Interestingly, we're not using the side edge additive. That's fine. I guess that's only purely for grass now. But oh well. And yeah, I do love this bader here and the similar variety, so. I think when we get the loan out over Christmas into January, I think the actual loan will be before the next planting season. Speaking of which, we too need to plant some crop, because with those chickens we did buy a 5,000 acre pallet. And I think, to be honest, we're going to have to buy a few of those to get us that over the winter and that. And into the next harvesting season which we're looking at towards July or August. I think if we plant it now, we may still be good for July. At least that's what I'm hoping for. Obviously you can't guarantee those things. All just depends on how the crop germinates and that. Of course, still a prep the field and that, so we've got to mulch it, cultivate it, and then put seed in, roll it, and then if we can, put our first application of herbicide down as a preventive spray in. Also, I don't think if we have a quick look. Needs lime. Nope. And plowing. Oh yeah, fifth got fifth seventies plowing. And I'm pretty sure afterwards it would need lime. So part 57, of which got to plow, and then we should be able to get away with well mulch then plow, and then roll it also to create the seed beds. Oh, there's a patch here that we completely forgot for some reason. I thought we already did all this. I actually think we didn't do anything with the rowing. First of all, I thought it was just a patch, but nope. It's an entire section we didn't have time to do. Oh well, not a big issue for us. Do we have to eat fruit down here? I don't think so. I think that's like the farm. Because we did do one more contract as well. Plowing on 61, like the plowing and cultivating contracts. We'll snag those up where we can. That's the 
field next to us, that's a small field. What about B then? Ooh, some decent contracts. Different cell points, different places on the map. 64 and that. You know what, heck it, we'll do 24. We'll do that at some point, but I'm going to rush to get this done. Uh, yeah, just enjoy sitting in the cab and get all this bailing done. But obviously, that's only if it feels like off camera and that, but unfortunately, no. Uh, it's just as well as things in cab, don't really see much going on around. Miles outside the cab, you get a full view, so we'll quickly unload these bells here. And that's four, five bells we're already got over on this field. And anything extra will go into the next field, of course, so I'm not too worried about that. If you don't get the perfect amount. Always change up on the capacities and that, but I don't think that's really needed here. But yeah, so anyways, we'll get this finished off. I'll quickly win the road act because I completely forgot about that, of course. And then we'll see you at the cell point. Bailing done, we've got exactly 18 bells, so got nine for one and nine for the other field. So both of these will go in, so we'll do the first one. Should be careful not to sell both of them here. There we go. Oh no, wrong trigger. That's that one over there, my bad. But yeah, so we'll put nine in this one, nine in the other. Price is only one pound per year difference, so I'm not too fussed. There we go. So we've got ten grand for that, and uh, we should get a similar amount for the other fields. Let's have a few. Could we just navigate around on the left? There we go, we can. So, yep, yeah, complete that. That's 11 grand. 
and on to the next cell point. And now it's time to sell these uh, spells, so we should get about 10,100. Similar from before, so yeah, see. Well, not quite. Only 7,000 for that one. Only anyway, what, that's fine. So we'll complete that one. So that's got to go to Pine Creek Bells. So does 130. So we accept that one. And any more want to go to Pine Creek? Nope. Not by the looks of it. Town Store for that one. There are size contracts, those ones, 23 and 26. I think you know what? We accept this one as well. 64. Obviously, for the Pine Creek one, 130 and 24 is quite far apart. Obviously, we're not going to do that now. We may do it in between episodes or at the start of the next episode. But now, what we need to do is head to the Grey Mill, where we've got our field being filled over there, and start harvesting. Because, first of all, I want to see was it worth keeping that beta around? Because if you can get sure from these field beans, then that will be absolutely helpful. Yeah, I know we've got 3 milliliters of storage that we're going to sell. And in fairness, most spells we've got, we may end up selling anyways. <laughs> anyway, so... Okay, the combine's over there. And over there. But yeah, absolutely loving the Massey. We should have other beacons on. We'll park the trader over here. There we go. And I think this part is up. And get that connected and move that way so it doesn't interfere with the header. There we go. Park here, keys off. Now let's hop into the combine. Make sure it's unfolded. And Strauss Wolf is turned on. One. Now we're going there. Oh no idea. Maybe it's a tire or something, but anyways, let's get it hooked on. There we go. Yeah, I think we should have done that. Oops. There we go, just park it up. Set a control speed. Well, there it. Slightly raise this. There we go. Now we're harvesting. Stroll. Oh great, no we don't. So all that time of keeping out that bather, we didn't need to. Oh well, that is what it is. quite a dusty field and there are some patches over here that is slightly weeded but shouldn't be too bad oh man just look at that dust there we go just going to sensible speed but yeah so far so good and yeah as expected with the high sell price. Ain't gonna yield as much balls yet yeah, because of the sell price of I think 4100 per thousand a year so. I 
think that will be helpful to use this difference, but anyways, that is where I'm going to leave it today, so next time, it's all out beans, we'll give it all the beans and all the other bean puns. Once we get this harvest completed, the final harvest of the year, and then we start looking towards the baying of the straw. And then I think pretty much it's nothing until we start sending stuff in November. Also got our pallets off that is and all that good stuff in the greenhouse. They need to be sold in January, so the next couple of episodes is gonna be interesting. And I'll definitely set out for where we stand in the next year. Oh yeah, also can't forget all these plant winter barley or winter wheat. But anyways, as always, hope you enjoyed the episode. If so, smash that button. Feel free to down below. If you want to share us, please be my guest. If you're not subscribed to it, please consider. But for you to do, hope you enjoyed the episode. For now, it's me, Farmer Envoy Extreme, and I'll see you all very soon.